Are you tired of being held back by your negative beliefs? Do you want to break free from the chains of self-doubt and limiting thoughts? Don't worry. In this video, we will explore the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary samurai, and learn how to destroy your negative beliefs once and for all. Lesson 1. Identify your negative beliefs. Identifying your negative beliefs is a crucial first step, but it's not always an easy one. Often, these beliefs are so deeply ingrained that we're not even aware of them. They've become a part of our subconscious, influencing our thoughts, feelings, and actions without us realizing it. So, how can you uncover these hidden beliefs? One effective strategy is to pay attention to your emotions. Negative beliefs often trigger negative emotions. For example, if you believe you're not good enough, you might feel anxious or insecure. By tuning into your emotions, you can start to uncover the beliefs underlying them. Another strategy is to monitor your self-talk. Self-talk is the ongoing dialogue we have with ourselves. Often, this dialogue reflects our beliefs. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I'll never be able to do this, this could indicate a belief that you're not capable or competent. It's also important to look at your actions. Our beliefs often influence our behavior. For example, if you believe that failure is bad, you might avoid taking risks. By examining your actions, you can start to uncover the beliefs driving them. Once you've identified your negative beliefs, the next step is to write them down. This might seem like a simple task, but it's incredibly powerful. Writing down your beliefs makes them tangible. It brings them out of the shadows and into the light, where you can examine them more objectively. Remember, the goal here is not to judge your beliefs, but to become aware of them. It's about shining a light on the thoughts that have been operating in the background, influencing your life without your knowledge or consent. In the words of Miyamoto Musashi, the truth is not what you think it is. Often, our negative beliefs are based on assumptions, misconceptions, or outdated information. By identifying these beliefs, you're taking the first step in challenging their validity and breaking their hold over you. So be brave, be honest, and be willing to confront your negative beliefs head on. Lesson 2. Challenge your negative beliefs. Challenging your negative beliefs is a crucial step in overcoming them. It's about questioning their validity and refusing to let them control your life. Musashi's teachings can provide us with valuable insights into how to do this. Musashi believed in the power of strategy and critical thinking. He once said, You can only fight the way you practice. This quote emphasizes the importance of consistent effort and practice. Similarly, challenging your negative beliefs requires regular effort and practice. Start by examining the evidence for your negative beliefs. Are they based on fact or fiction? Often, negative beliefs are based on assumptions, fears, or past experiences that may not reflect current reality. By examining the evidence, you can start to see your negative beliefs for what they are. Thoughts, not facts. Next, consider alternative beliefs. Musashi was a master of adapting to new situations. He once said, you must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. In the same vein, there's more than one way to look at a situation. For example, if you believe you're not good at public speaking, an alternative belief could be that you're still learning and improving. It's also important to challenge the impact of your negative beliefs. How do they affect your feelings, actions, and life? Often, negative beliefs lead to negative emotions and behaviors, creating a vicious cycle. By breaking this cycle, you can start to free yourself from the grip of your negative beliefs. Practice self-compassion. Musashi believed in the power of self-reflection and improvement. He once said, do nothing which is of no use. In this context, self-criticism is of no use. It only serves to reinforce your negative beliefs. Instead, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Remember, everyone has negative beliefs. What's important is how you deal with them. Lesson 3. Reframe your negative beliefs. Reframing your negative beliefs is a powerful technique that can transform your mindset. It's about changing the way you perceive your negative beliefs, 
turning them from obstacles into opportunities for growth. This technique is deeply rooted in Musashi's teachings, particularly his emphasis on adaptability and resilience. Musashi once said, In strategy, it is important to see distant things as if they were close, and to take a distanced view of close things. This quote beautifully encapsulates the essence of reframing. It's about changing your perspective, seeing things from a different angle, and finding new meanings in your experiences. For instance, if you have a negative belief such as, I always fail when I try new things, you can reframe it as, I learn and grow every time I try new things. This shift in perspective can significantly change how you approach new challenges. Instead of seeing them as threats, you start seeing them as opportunities for learning and growth. Reframing is not about denying the existence of your negative beliefs or pretending they don't exist. Rather, it's about acknowledging them and then choosing to see them in a more positive and empowering light. It's about recognizing that while you may not have control over your initial thoughts, you do have control over how you interpret and respond to them. Reframing is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It requires practice and persistence. You may find it helpful to keep a journal where you can write down your negative beliefs and their reframed versions. Over time, as you continue to practice reframing, you'll find that it becomes easier and more natural. Lesson 4. Practice Positive Affirmations Positive affirmations are powerful tools in our quest to overcome negative beliefs. They are statements that we repeat to ourselves, which reflect the positive aspects we wish to embody or the goals we want to achieve. They can help to reprogram our minds, replacing negative beliefs with positive ones. Miyamoto Musashi, in his teachings, emphasized the importance of positive thinking. He once said, you cannot defeat an enemy who knows your thoughts and movements beforehand. This can be interpreted as a call to control our thoughts and ensure they serve us positively rather than negatively. Practicing positive affirmations involves more than just repeating phrases. It's about believing in the words you're saying and feeling them resonate within you. For instance, if you're struggling with self-doubt, a positive affirmation like I am capable and confident can help shift your mindset. It's important to note that positive affirmations are not about denying reality or ignoring problems. Instead, they are about focusing on solutions and possibilities. They are about empowering ourselves to overcome challenges and achieve our goals. Positive affirmations should be personal and specific. They should reflect what you truly want to achieve or the person you aspire to be. For example, if you're working on improving your self-esteem, an affirmation like, I am worthy and deserving of respect, can be powerful. Remember, the power of positive affirmations lies in repetition and belief. The more you repeat these affirmations, the more they become ingrained in your subconscious. Over time, they can help to shift your mindset and destroy your negative beliefs. Lesson 5. Surround yourself with positivity. The environment you surround yourself with plays a significant role in shaping your thoughts and beliefs. Miyamoto Musashi, in his wisdom, understood this profoundly. He once said, do not sleep under a roof that leaks. This metaphorical statement emphasizes the importance of avoiding negativity and seeking positivity in your surroundings. Surrounding yourself with positivity is a proactive step towards destroying your negative beliefs. It involves creating an environment that fosters growth, encouragement, and optimism. This can be achieved in several ways. The people you spend time with can significantly influence your thoughts and beliefs. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift you, encourage you, and challenge you to be your best self. These are the people who will help you see the world in a more positive light and will support you in your journey towards overcoming negative beliefs. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Whether it's a hobby, a sport, or a creative pursuit, doing what you love can help shift your focus away from negative beliefs and towards positive experiences. These activities can provide a sense of accomplishment and can boost your self-esteem, making it easier to challenge negative beliefs. Consume positive content. 
This could be books, podcasts, movies, or music that inspire you and reinforce positive beliefs. Just as negative content can fuel negative beliefs, positive content can help to reinforce positive ones. Cultivate a positive mindset. This involves choosing to focus on the positive aspects of your life, even in the face of challenges. It's about seeing setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as evidence of your negative beliefs. Remember, surrounding yourself with positivity is not about ignoring the realities of life or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about creating an environment that supports your growth and helps you to challenge your negative beliefs. Lesson 6. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness is a practice that can help you become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, allowing you to respond to them rather than react. Musashi's teachings emphasize the importance of being present and aware, which is the essence of mindfulness. When you practice mindfulness, you're not trying to empty your mind or stop your thoughts. Instead, you're aiming to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This can help you gain a better understanding of your negative beliefs and how they affect you. One way to practice mindfulness is through meditation. You can start by finding a quiet place to sit, closing your eyes, and focusing on your breath. When thoughts come up, simply acknowledge them and let them go, returning your focus to your breath. This can help you become more present and less consumed by your thoughts. Another way to practice mindfulness is through everyday activities. For example, you can practice mindfulness while eating, walking, or washing the dishes. The key is to focus on the present moment and engage all your senses. This can help you become more aware of your surroundings and less preoccupied with your thoughts. Mindfulness can also help you become more aware of your negative beliefs. When a negative belief comes up, try to observe it without judgment. Ask yourself, is this thought helpful or harmful? Is it based on fact or fiction? By doing this, you can gain a better understanding of your negative beliefs and start to challenge them. Remember, mindfulness is a practice. It's not about achieving a state of perpetual calm or banishing all negative thoughts. It's about cultivating a greater awareness of your thoughts and feelings and learning to respond to them in a more constructive way. In the words of Musashi, you must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Mindfulness is one such path. It's a path that can help you become more aware of your negative beliefs, challenge them, and ultimately, overcome them. Lesson 7. Be patient and persistent. Patience and persistence are two virtues that Musashi held in high regard. He believed that the path to mastery was long and fraught with challenges, but those who persevered would ultimately triumph. The same holds true for destroying your negative beliefs. It's important to understand that these beliefs didn't form overnight, and they won't disappear overnight either. They are deeply ingrained patterns of thought that have been reinforced over time. Therefore, it's unrealistic to expect immediate results. Instead, you need to be patient with yourself and the process. Persistence, on the other hand, is about continuing to take action despite setbacks. It's about getting back up every time you fall and continuing to move forward. Remember, every step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to your goal. One way to cultivate patience and persistence is to focus on progress rather than perfection. Instead of striving to eliminate all your negative beliefs at once, focus on making small, consistent improvements. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small, and learn from your setbacks. Another way to cultivate these virtues is to practice self-compassion. Be kind and understanding towards yourself when you experience setbacks. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. What's important is that you learn from them and continue to move forward. In the words of Musashi, you cannot defeat an enemy until you understand him. In this context, your negative beliefs are your enemy. By being patient and persistent, you can gain a deeper understanding of these beliefs and develop the skills needed to overcome them. So be patient with yourself. Understand that destroying your negative beliefs is a journey, not a destination. And be persistent. Keep taking action, keep moving forward, and never give up. For as Musashi once said, 
The way of the warrior is resolute acceptance of death. In this context, death represents the end of your negative beliefs, and resolute acceptance represents your unwavering commitment to their destruction.